In this problem, we're being asked to find the inverse function. So the first step when finding the inverse function is to replace your f of x with y. So we have y equals 7x plus 5 over x minus 2. So the first step, all you do is you just rename your f of x. The second step is also pretty easy. All you do in this case is just replace all of your x's and y's. So this is x equals 7y plus 5 over y minus 2. And the third step is where it gets a little bit harder. We actually have to solve uh, for y. So I'm going to go ahead and write it again. We have x equals 7y plus 5. It's all being divided by y minus 2. Okay, so we're looking for y, and we have y's in the numerator and the denominator. So maybe a good first step would be to clear the fractions. We can do that by multiplying both sides by y minus 2. So y minus 2, and over here we have a y minus 2. So these cancel over here. Then on the left-hand side, we can distribute the x. So we get y times x minus 2 times x. And that's equal to 7y plus 5. Okay, we're looking for y, and we have y's on both sides. So the goal now is to get all of the y's on one side by themselves so that we can factor out a y. So let's do it in two steps. We'll start by adding 2x. So we have yx equals 7y plus 5 plus 2x. And then now we'll subtract the 7y. So minus 7y minus 7y. That leaves us with yx minus 7y equals 5 plus 2x. And so now we're in a position where we can factor out the y. So we have y, parentheses, x minus 7, and that's equal to 5 plus 2x. We're almost done. So because we factor out the y, now it's being multiplied by x minus 7. So to get rid of this x minus 7, we can just divide both sides by x minus 7. Boom. Beautiful stuff. Gone. It cancels. That's a really ugly 7. <laughs> so we have y equals 5 plus 2x over x minus 7. And the very last thing we can do is just to write our answer using you know, the correct uh, notation. So the correct notation for the inverse function is the following. It's f inverse of x. And it's equal to 5 plus 2x over x minus 7. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.